Easter eggs are glorious things. There's nothing like finding an amazing Easter egg while playing through a game, especially if those Easter eggs are referencing the franchise of the game you're playing itself. Which is something several Sonic games are quite versed in doing. So today we're counting down the top 10 insane Sonic Easter eggs. And some of them aren't that insane, just really interesting. But there's some insane ones. So let's jump in. And the number 10 is sound test date. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 introduced us to the cheat codes of debug mode and the level select option. Turns out the specific numbers that you pop into the sound test in order to get the level select, 19, 65, 09, and 17, correlate to a certain date, September 17th, 1965, the birth date of the former head of the Sonic team, Yuji Naka. And at number 9 is Sonic's face. Sonic Mania is a game that we'll be talking quite a bit about on this list. In that particular game, when you're on the home screen, if you look past the main logo and down below it to the island it's spinning above, you'll notice a familiar shape, or rather a familiar face. It's Sonic's. And at number 8 is Eggman on the PA. In Sonic Colors, as you dash through the amusement park, you'll hear Dr. Eggman announcing a few things over the PA. While some of it is original commentary from Eggman, he also quotes some notable franchises, including Alien. Two aliens were harmed in the creation of this park. And there's references too, including ones from the game Crazy Taxi. Up next, number 7 is Translations. Another Sonic Colors Easter egg here, jumping to the end of the game after Sonic has defeated Dr. Eggman, there's an interaction with one of the Wisps. You know, the aliens who end up saving you from the exploding amusement park after the fact, and who were also previously enslaved. Tails uses a translator to figure out what this little guy is saying, and it appears in decimal code on the screen. We catch a glimpse of it long enough to see that there's additional code at the bottom of the translator's screen. The first two lines it translates to are spot on in terms of what we get from the cutscene's narrative, but then there's an additional third line, which translates into, if you can read this, you're a geek. Up next, number 6 is Pinkbot. Another Sonic Mania one here, in the Studiopolis Zone, there's a reference to another Sega game called Streets of Rage. The pink bot sign that appears in Sonic Mania is incredibly similar to the Pine Pot Cafe sign that appears in Streets of Rage 1 and 2, in all of its neon glory. Up next, number 5 is Big the Cat cameos. In Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, if you button mash during various cutscenes, Big the Cat will make a cameo in the background, seemingly not visible to the other characters in the cutscene. And he's kinda just there, either just running by hilariously or scratching himself. Gotta love Big the Cat. And our number 4 spot is Suicidal Sonic. Getting into darker territory here for our next number, in Sonic CD, Sonic is a tad suicidal. If you put down the controller and leave the game still for long enough, he'll jump off the edge and kill himself. After tapping his foot profusely, he'll say, I'm out of here, and jump. And then it's game over. Now, if you're playing the US version, you also get this creepy music accompanying the game over part. Check it out. In our number 3 spot is Sega Sonic Popcorn Shop. As we've mentioned, Sonic Mania is filled with a ton of easter eggs, one of which is the Sega Sonic Popcorn Shop that appears in the Studiopolis Zone. The Sega Sonic Popcorn Shop was actually a real life vending machine back in 1993. It dispensed popcorn, obviously, that was microwaved and then dropped into a cup. And it had a little game component too that accompanied the machine. You had to turn the green crank on the side of the machine to help Tails get the popcorn kernels into the fire. Although that game actually had nothing to do with the dispensing of the popcorn. If you didn't turn the crank, you still got the popcorn. Up next, number 2 is Sonic 3D Blast, and it's unintentional easter egg. If you wiggle or smack the cartridge for Sonic Blast 3D, you get sent to the level select screen. Traveler's Tales founder John Burt revealed this easter egg's origins in a video that he posted on YouTube. He worked on the game, and one of the things that they would do to pass cartridge regulation tests was to cover up the error messages with easter eggs, turning what was a bug into a bonus screen. Meaning these glitches would just seem as if they were part of the game rather than the bugs and would still pass certification. And finally, in our number one spot is And Knuckles. Sonic Mania was critically acclaimed, and many fans felt that it was a love letter to the classic Sonic games. Keeping true to its roots, the game has a throwback to the classic's debug mode, with its own classic level select cheat. On this menu, we also get a shout out to the popular meme And Knuckles, which came into existence due to Sega's lock on feature that allowed you to add cartridges onto existing games, making it possible to play Knuckles in Sonic 3. And of course, it spawned a meme. The meme really blew up though in 2000. 10 after a joke review of the fictional game Sonic the Hedgehog 3 CD and Knuckles and Knuckles. So what's all that got to do with easter eggs? Well there's an easter egg in Sonic Mania that many think is a shout out to the memes infamy. A mode that lets you play as Knuckles, with Knuckles as your sidekick once you unlock the debug mode in the game. Knuckles and Knuckles. There we have it guys, what's your favorite Sonic easter egg? Let us know in those comments below. And as always, if you
you like this video, hit that like button. And check out our other videos on our channel while you're at it. If you love Sonic, we've got a ton of other Sonic lists on our channel, including why Sonic is better than Mario and top 10 strongest Sonic characters. So head on over there and check them out. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.